Hi everyone, Dan Julian here, nurse practitioner for Dan Aesthetics Medical. We are continuing our neuromodulator series and today this is the second video for the frontalis. It is that complex and today I'm going to show you five different patterns that you can use right now to treat the frontalis. Let's get into it. Before we get into the patterns, you have to understand what the C line means or the line of convergence means to better understand why we choose certain patterns. Let's get into it. Now let's bring in Sarah to better explain the C line. Here is the C line right here and basically it divides the frontalis muscle into two parts. We have the lower part and the upper part and if you ever wonder where it breaks and officially where it starts, it's where the frontalis starts moving back, right? So look at mine, it goes all the way here and then it starts moving back. This is my C-line right in the middle. And what's really important to understand is that when someone's raising their eyebrows, right, there's two motions that the frontalis makes. The lower part, the part that's below the C-line moves up. And the part that's above the C-line actually moves forward. Look at my scalp here whenever I'm raising my forehead. You can see it moving forward slightly, and it would move more actually if I didn't have neuromodulator there. So the whole idea is to understand how we're going to place neuromodulators on certain clients. All right, so the first pattern, let's bring in Sarah, and I think you guys already had a hint on what that is. This is the five pattern technique. And basically, this is going to be placed, first of all, at the lateral aspects of where the lines or the wrinkles meet, right? So let's say if I raise my eyebrows and my wrinkles only go to here, well, this is actually where I'm going to place my furthest units over here. But for me, my lines go all the way over here. So I wanna make sure that I'm going to place my units that extend all the way laterally and those are going to be my most external units placed. Now, where am I placing them? Underneath, on top, or on the C line? Well, this is going to vary per client, but if you are approaching a brand new client to be safe, what you can do is place it directly on the C line. And the reason why is because notice that I have little dots around it. Neuromodulators disperse by about a centimeter. So if you place it on the C line, part of it's going to be touching the lower part and part of it's going to be touching the upper part. So this is a great safe way to start with brand new clients. After that, you're gonna place another unit or two up here. And then finally, you're going to place your last injection here and you're going to just repeat that. So you have a portion of this that's below the C line, a portion that's above the C line and one directly on it. And this can vary in placements based on where your clients have most of their wrinkles. If most of the wrinkles are higher, place them a little higher. If they're a little lower, you can place them a little lower. But remember, if someone has heavier eyelids or if their eyebrows are already lower, be careful with how low you're going to place those neuromodulators. Next, let's go over a six or seven point technique that I like to use. And it's very similar to the pattern that we used prior with the five point technique. It's just that we're removing the center one and we're actually divided into two parts here. And the reason why I like this is because I actually have a little bit more surface area coverage. Remember, there are two different muscles here, one here and one here. And this just gives me a little bit more accuracy. And I have, again, if you wanna cover it, one on the C-line, one above it, and one below it. And therefore, I have nice uniform distribution. Now, this is also, again, going to vary based on clients and where their wrinkles lie. If they have more wrinkling up here, then I may add maybe a seven point right here and I may add that one extra unit just to cover that. It really does vary per clients. This is just another great pattern that I like to use. The third technique is designed for clients with a lot of muscle activity on the frontalis and they also have enough surface area, something similar to myself. Uh, and I want enough even distribution here with my product. So I'm going to increase my injection points and this is my 10 point technique. So let's bring in Stuart here. We have highlighted the line of convergence, right where his forehead starts bending back. And I'm going to place two injection points above it, two injection points right below it, and one right in the middle. This is perfect for, let's say, a masculine client who I wanna keep their eyebrows nice and straight. If you have a feminine client and you don't wanna drop this eyebrow, you can do one of two things. You can remove this altogether, or you can move this last point on the C line, and that might help you out as well. Fourth is what I call a triangle pattern that requires eight pokes. And let's get into it. I'm gonna show you two different variations of that. So we have first this side of the frontalis. We have two pokes above the C line, one below. And this is your triangle right here. And this is where you're going to actually contribute most of your product. 
And then your last poke is just going to be on the side on the C-line itself. And this is great for feminine clients, people who have a lot of muscle activity in the middle, or someone who you want to make sure you get rid of all the wrinkles, but you don't want to drop their eyebrows. So this is a great way to do that. Now, this is perfect for people who actually have a little bit more muscle activity on the higher part or on top of the C-line. But if your clients actually have a little bit more muscle activity below that, then you can swap over to this technique, which is essentially the same thing. You're just inverting your triangle. One on top, two just below the C-line, and one at the tail end, just to make sure you're reaching all of the wrinkles necessary. Now, if you have a client who does not have wrinkles that extend all the way to the end here, you do not need to place these units or these pokes. You can just essentially keep the triangle motions that you choose as appropriate for your client, and you're good to go. All right, the fifth and final pattern, and this is where things get very interesting, and bear with me because there's actually a study that proved this does work for the majority of the clients. And here we go, let's bring in Sarah. And basically, I don't know if you thought about it, but you can inject directly on the C-line and not deviate from it. And essentially what's happening is, notice as I mentioned before, if I place my product directly on the C-line, it disperses by about a centimeter, maybe a centimeter and a bit, depending on, depends on what product you're using. And therefore it's going to reach and hit the lower part and upper part, and therefore you should have even distribution. The amount of pokes that you want to use is dependent on you. I think it really does depend on how far your lines are extending. So if they extend all the way to the end, I think seven pokes is going to be smart. If you're going for a client that has lines that do not extend very far, then maybe a five point technique, one, two, three, four, five, is all you need and it's all about testing it out and seeing what works best for you and your client. Now, I know I didn't cover any dosage in this video, and that's because dose equals duration. Everyone needs a different dose, and I can't guide you on that. You have to listen to your client. If they're a feminine client and they're wanting maybe a little bit more natural movement, then go from anywhere from four to eight units. But if that client has strong muscle activity or lifts weights, then they may need up to 20. And if it's a masculine client, they need probably 20 to 35 units. Everyone's different. These patterns are to help you better understand what's happening with the muscle activity and for you to make a better decision for your client's needs. Enjoy, take care of yourselves, exercise daily, and please be nice to absolutely everyone. Cheers.